Killer storms continue a deadly course through the Midwest. Tornadoes claimed at least 14 more lives today in three states. Three days after an F5 tornado swept parts of Joplin, Missouri to ruins, residents there remain in shock and disbelief. Our Lori Pritchard grew up in Joplin and joins us again from her hometown. Which we're standing right now in front of Joplin High School. This was my high school, the one I graduated from. It sustained a direct hit from the F5 tornado. There's something I want you to look at as well. Take a look at the steeple over here. That steeple came from across the street where the Joplin Stake Center is. That building is absolutely demolished. And you won't believe this, eight people were inside when the tornado went overhead. They all walked out alive. This over here is just solid homes. Yeah. Janice Falls and Lee Alfin are two of those eight survivors. We were alive. Every single person in that little room was alive and that we were grateful for. Falls was getting ready for a Relief Society meeting. Alfin was going to speak. It was cloudy. It was just a typical Missouri stormy night. You know, we've all, we're all used to that. So, no, the meeting started and the first indication we had that it was going to be something different is the sirens would often. The group heard the sirens, then silence, then the tornado. You could hear this cracking and explosion after explosion and um, just a, there were so many sounds you can't even describe it, but it wasn't just the hearing it, you could feel it. It just, it just went right through your body. It was like a thousand timpanies being beat. It was like a thousand trumpets like, being, was, uh, being blown. Like All eight ran into the women's restroom, each piled on top of the other. A seven-year-old girl at the very bottom. They all just piled on and Ruby was at the bottom and we just wrote it out. They felt the pressure of the storm. They heard the shredding of metal. Cinder blocks flew through the air. Uh, a cinder block came and hit me on the head. After four long minutes, the tornado moved on. Stunned, they all realized they had survived. Uh, we were blessed. We were, we were very fortunate. Uh, we felt uh, we felt hands protecting us. Now both are reevaluating their mission, purpose, and outlook on life. It's a big reminder to me of what's important in life. Yeah, I mean, it, it is really what is the value. You know, just sifting through the rubble here this evening, uh, we found this hymnal book, um, sifted through it, Rejoice Ye Saints of Latter Days. Um, clearly, lots of debris still around. You know, Jana said when she walked home Sunday evening and she got home, she was looking in the mirror and just had so much dirt and debris in her hair, in her teeth, in her neck, every crevice of her body. But she said she just looked at herself and said, I am so lucky to be alive. And I think they all can say that. Back to you. What compelling accounts, Lori. Thank you. Lori,